I don't need you. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 most dangerous movie scenes to film. For this list, we'll be looking at the movie scenes with the biggest risks of danger or resulting harm. We won't be including any instances in which an actor or stunt performer lost their life. Which of these scenes seems riskiest to you? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Skydiving Transformers Dark of the Moon The Transformers movies use CGI and green screen effects to sell a world of cars turning into giant fighting robots. You might think this scene from the third film was also faked, but it's more than meets the eye. Here we go! Here we go! During the Decepticon invasion of Chicago, the Nest Strike team donned wingsuits and dived down. Actual wingsuit skydivers were hired for this scene, filmed at the 1,450-foot-high Willis Tower. These are actual people flying wingsuits in a downtown city environment, which has never been done before. It was considered risky enough that six agencies, including the Federal Aviation Administration and Chicago Police Department, reportedly had to sign off on it. When people see it, I think there's going to be a natural tendency to believe that it's fake, and in fact, it's not. It was all done real. While these movies are full of eye candy, arguably no moment is as jaw-dropping as this one. Number 9. Wicked Witch Disappearing The Wizard of Oz The Wizard of Oz might be more than 80 years old, but its effects still hold up amazingly well. However, in the pre-CGI days, there was a lot more risk in shooting certain scenes. Oh my! When the Wicked Witch of the West exits a scene, she disappears in a puff of red smoke and fire. I'll get you, my pretty, and your little dog too! <laughs> so, what did they use to create the fire effect? Fire. Actress Margaret Hamilton was to avoid the flames by escaping through a trap door. These things must be done delicately. While shooting one take, the door didn't open in time, causing Hamilton to receive second and third degree burns on her face and hands, respectively. This is the thing that's so astonishing to me about fire, how quickly it takes such a terrible toll. It took six weeks for Hamilton to recuperate. She later insisted on no more fireworks. Can you blame her? Number 8. Gorge Jump Hooper. Well, how high are you going to drop? What's the world's record? 223. I'll go 224. This 70s action comedy starring Burt Reynolds is a highly entertaining ode to stunt performers. As you'd hope, contains some great stunt sequences. However, one stands out as the most incredible. Stunt coordinator Sonny Hooper, played by Reynolds, comes up with an idea for a rocket car to jump 325 feet across a gorge for a movie stunt. What kind of car could leap a gorge that wide? A rocket car could make it. It's considered extremely dangerous within the film's reality, but the filmmakers genuinely had a rocket-powered Pontiac Firebird make that jump. Sonny, you told me you were quitting after this picture so you could trade it off against doing this ridiculous stunt, isn't that true? Famed stunt coordinator Buddy Joe Hooker was behind the wheel and thankfully nailed the landing. They certainly didn't teach us this in Driver's Ed. Number 7. River Jump the man with the golden gun. A toast. Per ora e per un momento che verrà. To this moment and the moment yet to come. The man with the golden gun has a pretty poor reputation among James Bond fans. Oh no. However, there is one sequence that almost redeems the whole movie. Roger Moore's Bond chases after titular villain Francisco Scaramanga, played by Christopher Lee, in a stolen AMC Hornet. With Sheriff J.W. Pepper last seen in Live and Let Die in tow, Bond performs an incredible 360-degree corkscrew jump over a river. You're not thinking that. I sure am, boy. How did they accomplish this? By having a stunt driver twist their car 360 degrees mid-air. <laughs> driver Lauren Bumps Willard had to make it over a ramp at precisely 48 miles per hour. I sat with uh, Cubby Broccoli for many hours, and we talked about if the car failed, if the takeoff ramp broke, that we would have a driver in a seatbelt and a three-point restraining harness in the water. Fortunately, he made it in just one take, 
and you thought the Fast and Furious movies were intense. Number 6. Arrows, Throne of Blood. Throne of Blood is a retelling of Shakespeare's Macbeth, transported to feudal Japan. So you know there's going to be some death. However, one incredibly risky scene could have killed its star. At the end of the film, Toshiro Mifune's Washizu Taketoki is attacked by his own troops in a barrage of arrows. And yes, director Akira Kurosawa had actual arrows fired at Mifune. Granted, these were shot by experienced archers, and Mifune used body language to indicate his movements and avoid being hit. <laughs> But we have to imagine his terrified expression during this scene wasn't just good acting. Number 5. Pole Slide Police Story This list could be composed entirely of Jackie Chan's stunts, but if we have to pick one, it's this incredible feat towards the end of Police Story. At a shopping mall, Chan Sergeant Chan Ka Kui pursues crime boss Chu Tao by leaping onto a light bulb covered pole. He then slides down before crashing through a glass ceiling and continuing his pursuit. Sparks literally fly during the scene, and Chan literally performed the stunt in a single take without any safety equipment or even rehearsal. If Chan had missed the pole by even a few inches, it could have spelled disaster. Really scared. I'm not, I just ordinary people. I'm not a Superman. There's Brave and then there's Jackie Chan. Number four, Free Fall, Sharky's Machine. Well, who's coming down? Get the best face to the way. I hear that. Another Burt Reynolds movie with a mind blowing stunt is Sharky's Machine. We blow it. We don't want to blow it. We? At the end of the film, villainous Billy Score is chased up the Weston Peachtree Plaza by Reynolds Sergeant Tom Sharkey. This ends with Billy falling hundreds of feet to his death. Do you think I live or die? While thankfully no one involved with this stunt was hurt, stunt performer Dar Robinson actually performed a 220 foot free fall. We only see the beginning of the fall in the movie. But this still holds the record as being the highest building freefall in any movie. Considering Robinson had already fallen from Toronto's far taller CN Tower twice, we doubt he was too nervous about this one. Number 3. Helicopter Scene Mission Impossible Fallout. Hunt, where are you? Go away from me! What is it? What's wrong? It's the garage. Think being a movie star like Tom Cruise is easy? Try doing what he did in the sixth Mission Impossible film. In the thrilling climax, Cruise's Ethan Hunt commandeers a helicopter to stop one carrying Henry Cavill's villainous August Walker. Find Lane, find the other bomb. What the hell is he doing? I find it best not to look. If it looks like Cruise is actually flying and hanging from his helicopter, well, that's because he is. Filming the whole sequence took six weeks to accomplish and the 56-year-old Cruz insisted on performing it himself. Even with some safety measures in place, it was still extraordinarily risky. He came to me and he said, we're going to go to Airbus and we're going to learn how to fly a helicopter and be a 2,000-hour pilot in a very short period of time. But fortunately, this mission didn't prove impossible. We're dying and terrified to know what kind of stunts Cruz has planned for the next installment. You okay? You've never looked better. Number 2. Truck Drag Raiders of the Lost Ark There's nothing to fit here. That's what scares me. Indiana Jones' first adventure is a tribute to the exciting movie serials of Steven Spielberg and George Lucas's youth, and much of the thrill comes from how palpable the danger is. One particular scene wasn't just dangerous for Jones, but also for his real-world counterpart, Harrison Ford. When Indy learns of a truck carrying the Ark of the Covenant, 
He mounts his trusty steed and runs after it. This results in him being dragged from behind the truck over some very rough terrain. While Ford didn't handle all of this stunt by himself, he still ended up with some bruised ribs. There wasn't a lot of clearance, so it was kind of a tricky uh, situation. They don't make them like this anymore. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Chariot Jump Ben Hur. What is your name? 41. Judah Ben Hur. There are plenty of reasons to watch classic biblical epic Ben Hur. You have the spirit to fight back, but the good sense to control it. But the greatest is the film's famous chariot race, an iconic sequence full of great moments of action and human drama. In one heart-stopping moment, Judah Ben-Hur, played by Charlton Heston, leaps his chariot over a wrecked one and is flipped over without falling out. Stunt performer Joe Canut was actually thrown up in the air, which was not supposed to happen. He only sustained a slight chin injury, but it could have ended up much worse. The days of chariot races are long over, as are perhaps movie scenes as dangerous as this one. I crown their god. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.